High school days, man. I know high school for some people is probably the greatest time in their life. Probably. I got one story about this girl in high school that I uh that I totally, totally, totally admired. And when I mean by admired, I was like a little bit, a little bit obsessed. Not to the point where I was obsessed, like, you know, but just I just was, I really liked this girl. You know what I'm saying? And I knew she wouldn't give me the time of the day. You know? I knew. Because all the guys in the school liked her. She was just probably the most beautiful girl you ever seen in your life. She was so beautiful. Light skin. Just any high school man's, young man's wet dream. <laughs> oh, man, she was fun. Right. So I got my classes. And when I got my classes, every class I went to, I was hoping that she was in the class. I said, damn, went to first first period. Nope. Second period. Nope. Third period. Nope. Fourth period. Nope. Lunchtime. I seen her walk by. And I was just so googly eyed. I was so, <laughs> so googly eyed. I just was, I was super in love with this girl. Fifth period. Nope. Sixth period. Sixth period. I sat down. I lost all hope. And I said, damn, she ain't going to be in this class. She ain't going to be in none of my classes all year. And it just so happens. She walks in the class. And she sits down. Three rose across from me and I was like it was kind of like we were both in this room by ourselves it was about 20 kids in there but it was, it was just me and her in my head it's this big white room with a with a Clydesdale stop across the room stops in front of her she gets on she says you you. Jump up. Silver's long hair. One tail. I jump on the front of the horse. And she holds me from the back. And say, run! Run! <sighs> so she looked at me. And I looked at her and she looked at me and I looked at her and I'm staring at her and she's staring at me. And in my head, my heart is beating a thousand miles per minute. <laughs> but here's the thing. I knew that she wouldn't give me the time of the day. And I'll probably see y'all probably saying, why would she give him the time of the day? Why? Because in school, they called me Bottle Caps. I said, y'all probably like, what the hell? Why the hell did they call him Bottle Caps? Why would they call you Bottle Caps? That's so cool. Because I had glasses. That was this. So she looking at me. I'm looking at her. She looking at me. I'm looking at her. She says, hey, what's your name? And I say, me? I'm looking at you. What's your name? And I said, Maurice. She says, Maurice, I think that you would look good without your glasses. <laughs> And it's like, you gotta understand. It's like God came down with a thousand women and said, Hey, son, you can have all these girls. Take them all with you, boy. I didn't know what to do. I was shocked. 
So she says, take your glasses off. And I said, and I put my head down. I'm like, she like, so she gets up, walks over to me. And the whole class is looking. Now, again, I'm thinking that we in this room by ourselves. Whole class is looking. She takes my glasses off my face and puts it on her desk. She said, look at me. And I had my head down like a little pussy. Had my head down. She said, look at me. Look at me. She said, you are so cute. Oh, my God. And she goes and sits back down. Class. The bell rings, class, everybody leaves. I took those glasses. I kid you not. I threw them shits right out the floor. I threw them shits right out the window. I threw them right out the window. That moment in time, my life was changed. I swear to you, I can't make this up. That day, she instilled confidence in me when it came to my appearance, my looks, and how I approach women. I'm not, a, I'm not scared to approach women because I felt like if I can get past her, her, who's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life, if I could get past her, I could get anything. And when she told me that, it's like she reached inside my chest and pumped my heart. Like, <laughs> Unbelievable, man. So this day forward, well, to this day, from back then, this was years ago, she instilled something in me. That one female. And that's why I say the power of women, man. Women have ungodly power over men. When a man likes you, they have this, this unbelievable power. And she changed me. She changed me. And I want to just say thank you to her. She made me, she made me a man. So thank you. I'm not going to say a name, but you know. thank you. Thank you. If you want to know who she is, she's, you can go back and look at the uh, hip hop parade video. She's dancing in the video. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you, thank you. That's my husband.